Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bowden the Great and I did a video recently on alchemy and crafting potions in Lens Island and I wanted to follow up with a similar video regarding food. Food is similar to alchemy in the sense that you need to know a specific recipe and have specific ingredients so it's not as simple as it may seem. And also I'll be giving you my personal opinions on which food will be the best ones to cook. And as always, please do not forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these Lens Island guides and tutorials. You'll probably notice that you gain access to the campfire a ways before you'll gain access to the fireplace, which is where you'll be doing the majority of your higher tier cooking. It's important to note that you can only cook raw fish in the campfire, and it might not be the best way to utilize these fish unless you just really need food. That said, certain fish like the angler fish have pretty cool buffs when consumed in cooked form. The buff is good to use in place of the backpack torch, which you don't get till way later in the game. I'm moving on from cooked fish, but the more complex recipes, I'm gonna break down into two different groups, baked goods and soups. So first things first, you have to craft a fireplace, which only requires very basic resources, specifically wood, stone, and coal. The most important ingredient that will be required across the board will be oil. You'll also need flour for most of the recipes, but oil is required for every single recipe. You get oil by placing olives into a refinery along with a fuel source, of course. And getting flour follows a similar path, only you'll be placing your wheat into the refinery to get flour. And for those of you who have been playing before the update, the windmill is no longer how you get flour, and is now purely utilized as a power source instead of a combined mill and power. Now that we know the universal ingredients, let's get into the recipes. In the baked goods, we've got four options. Bread, blueberry muffin, pumpkin pie, and banana bread. And maybe I'm just hungry, but damn, they look pretty good. Bread is probably your most basic recipe and is made by combining with both flour and oil. Blueberry muffin is made by combining blueberries, flour, and oil. Pumpkin pie is made by combining pumpkin, flour, and oil. And if you're seeing a pattern now, you can probably guess what's in the banana bread, but none other than banana, flour, and oil. Note that I'll put all these recipes below in the actual description of the video so you don't have to keep starting and stopping for the recipes. Personally, I recommend skipping making bread because at this point you've likely collected loads of both blueberries and pumpkins, so you should be able to make blueberry muffins and pumpkin pies with ease. Each recipe will heal your health bar and hunger bar for a certain amount, so let's take a look at what each can do. Bread, like I mentioned, only heals for a measly 10 health and 30 hunger. Blueberry muffins heals for 34 health and 40 hunger. Pumpkin pie heals for 25 health and 75 hunger. And finally, banana bread not only heals you immediately for 25 health and 50 hunger, but also gives you a buff that slowly heals your health and hunger for 60 seconds. So your best option will be to cook banana bread if you've got extra bananas. If not, what I like to do is use blueberry muffins while in combat to heal your health, and everything outside of that to heal your hunger by just eating pumpkin pie. Now let's get into soups, which can be a little bit more complex as it's not as intuitive as baked goods. Now first on the docket is mushroom soup, which can be made by combining mushrooms, oil, and flour. Now the fish ramen took me a little playing around with to figure out how to make it, but combine bluegill, swordfish, and oil to make this dish. Note that these are all raw variations of fish, so if you cook the fish, you won't be able to use them to make your dishes. And the final dish is the mango trout, which requires rainbow trout, mango, and oil. The two soups that require fish are probably the recipes that'll be your most grindy because just about everything else can be grown on the farm passively, which these two clearly require you to go catch a specific type of fish. But are they worth it though? Let's take a look at what each one heals. Mushroom soup heals for 40 health and 90 hunger, which is pretty impressive compared to the baked good options. Fish ramen heals for 50 health and 80 hunger. And finally, the mango trout heals for 60 health and 40 hunger. And similarly to banana bread gives you a slippery buff for two minutes that gives you a 10% increase attack speed and movement speed. Now that we know all that though, it's pretty clear that mango trout is gonna be your best option for healing while in combat due to the high health recovery plus the buff it gives you. That said, you're probably not swimming, pun intended, in rainbow trout, so I'd use it very sparingly for like a boss fight and stick with mushroom soup for general cave exploration since you'll likely have stockpiled a lot of mushrooms. I hope the video was helpful and turns your Lynn into Bridgewater's Bobby Flay. What is your favorite food to cook in Lynn's Island? Or is your Lynn just kind of an eat it raw kind of Lynn? If you have any questions about cooking in Lynn's Island or just Lynn's Island in general, please drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace out.